Hey, how we going guys? Mick here from Not Cartel, back with another kick-ass beer review. Today I'm going to, going to review the Red Hoppy Ale from Brick Lane. 355ml can, 5.3% ABV. Not yet tomorrow. There's a quote on the top of the can. 1.5 standard drinks. These guys hail out of... Danny Nong South, Victoria. Very, very fine print there. Uh, and these guys are known for contract brewing for one of the big supermarket chains conglomerates. Doesn't actually state that on the can, but we know that Brick Lane has a lot to do with um, brewing, brewing for those guys. So they are... Um, part of an independent brewing community. And the can statement goes, the sun dips and the last of the warmth mixes with the crisp night air. Red Hoppy suspends the moment by surrounding you in a blanket of delicious multi sweetness and sensations of ripe stone fruit and intense complex and moorish ale that transport you to the hours of not quite today and not yet tomorrow. Red Hoppy is layered with three caramel malts. It's hopped with Centennial in the kettle, with Simcoe, Amarillo and Mosaic added in the Whirlpool before dry hopping. So I, I, I picked this one up and pick it down quite, put it down quite often, and um, but I've decided I'm uh, going to give it a go. Um, transitioning between the darker styles and the stouts and the porters and um, those delicious uh, big AVB uh, barrel aged drinks and in between um, is where a, a a really good red hoppy ale or red IPA would um, sort of leave me uh, before heading into obviously full blown summer drinks um, session IPAs big IPAs on, on, the, um, on the days that deserve it uh, but Red Hoppies and, and the IPAs tend to be that middle mark for me. Well, it could be ESBs as well, um, extra special bitters, um, English bitters, more sort of malty drinks, um, so, and, and some sort of um, fruitiness coming through from the hop. So as I, I stated, it's one of those beers I find is, is an in-between, um, start to come off some of those roastier, um, sort of sweeter flavours uh, with a little bit of hoppy injection to it um, that's where it leaves me uh, wanting um, really good red ales so those who uh, uh, have the opportunity to purchase from Hoppy Days Brewing Supplies up in Virginia, Queensland they have a um, red riding hood um, recipe on their website it's a cracker it's an absolute cracker it's very popular uh, a lot of people love it um, I've done it once um, done my own version of it and done that recipe version of it from Hoppy Days Brewing Supplies so I'm um, certainly looking at doing that one again but I've just ordered today um, the um, Belgian Saison recipe from those guys I was going to do a uh, mandarin base with using mandarin above area hops um, and mandarin peel uh, as the addition um, but probably a style I think is going to be suited to the um, cherry wood smoked homegrown hops that I'd done on the smoker a few months back so today I decided after ordering that actually going through the freezer and trying to move things around and, and um, start to stock take what's in the freezer. I decided I'd actually, uh, I'd actually use those hops in that size, on, and we'll see what we can get happening there. Something a little bit funky and um, maybe a little bit different on the on the size on side of things. So we'll just get this poured up. The smell coming from the can is uh, smells quite nice. It is a little bit dark on camera there. It does smell quite fruity. I'm picking up huge grapefruit aromas just off that paw. Nice fluffy head. 
is dying off pretty quick, but I think it'll hold at around about one finger. Um, not sure whether I'll get the colour on camera or not. Um, it's more of a, a, a sort of deeper um, candy orange rather than, than, than that red that's coming up on the camera there. Might be able to flash a bit of light through it and actually get it to show what the colour is. Um, that's sort of more like it there. A little, little bit orange, yeah, round about there. That's about the colour that we're getting from it off camera. So, yeah, quite a nice colour. <sighs> Reminds me hugely of the Two Birds Sunset. It has that sort of um, big grapefruits, mostly from the galaxy. I think those guys use in that um, that sunset, a double sunset, um, and the and the standard sunset from Two Birds. More punchy on the on the grapefruit with this one, um, and less malt. So in comparison to the two birds, I think I prefer the two birds more than I prefer this one. Um, but this one actually showcases the hop additions more than it does the malt. Uh, I think that's a fair call. Much more crystal malt might have changed the way this beer presents, but other than that, doesn't quite fall into that category of um, of a red where I'd like it. Um, I think the red IPAs have a, have a better malt profile um, than just these um, standard red hoppy ales. For price point. Um, these guys don't really do a bad beer, to be honest, but um, I can say I've tried it now. Cheers.